Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for January 27th, 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 16, and if you add the 1 and the 6 together, you get the number 7. The number 7 believes that at the base of all life is a well thought through structure. We all have a base imprint, something that allows us to form, grow, learn, and evolve. Part of that base structure is our karmic imprint. What we have done in past carnation, in incarnations directly influences our susceptibility to certain positive and negative circumstances. Having this opportunity to be in such an evolved and consciousness growing body is to see the preciousness of this moment and to use it to do as much good in the world as possible. This number seven day gives us the chance to take a look at what moves and motivates our words, actions, and choices. Too often we are being run by the karmic imprint of our past and, not, and cannot see how that is impacting others around us. Move from places where care and concern lead. That can mean that the best option is stillness and witnessing others in their karmic dance that winds them up again and again. Know that choices in life can be like hitting some of those karmic switches, which can set old behaviors into action. When we become more aware of habits that are ineffective, we learn to let them go and allow the emptiness to bring insight into our mind and heart. That always leads to doorways previously unseen, untouched, and not yet experienced. The Astrology Today the moon shifts from Scorpio into Sagittarius early in the morning. It helps us start our day with more of a philosophical perspective and the ability to see through distortion into truth. There is an adventure calling to us, and while it may be more inward adventure rather than outward, it can make some feel jittery and discontented. The moon squares to Jupiter, and it might make us bite off more than we can chew. Be gentle with yourself and know that what makes no sense is just a moment when we are finally at the edge of our current level of understanding. Our personal ability to see past this point feels blocked and limited. In such a moment, it is best to not push but to wait in a meditative stillness for an answer that is new and expands our current level of awareness. Mercury is still retrograde and that pushes us up against the asteroid Juno and glides with the asteroid Ceres to form a parallel with Saturn. What that all means is that communication can take a mental and serious perspective. And while we think we know something, the truth is that we may be blinded by our biases and our ego once again. When such states happen, remember to stay open to a perspective that will be outside the scope of our experience. And my quote for today, stay open to a perspective that will be outside the scope of our experience. And my blog for today. So many feel the stress and strain of our world. So many are feeling as if they are buckling under the weight of pressures that they have never expected in this moment in time. Know that you are not alone. Know that life will follow a sequence that is necessary for our awakening and growth. We are in a world where the discomfort that we have placed on nature has turned around and now life forces us to feel what we have been putting the animals and plants through for centuries. This is a moment of karmic reciprocity. We are having to take a hard look at what we have been doing for generations and we will have to change. While as individuals, we are not hugely at fault, we have been continuing patterns instigated by our ancestors and many of them are antiquated and have not changed in a hundred years. We have allowed big businesses to dictate our choices and habits when we should have been demanding changes all along the way. But things like big oil wanted internal combustion engines so they could use gasoline instead of electrical or hydrogen vehicles. And when te new technologies arrived, they bought them up and warehoused them so that nothing would change and they could make their money and destroy our environment. I wonder why we cannot charge the oil companies and car companies with a crime, such as crimes against humanity, crimes against nature, crime against the destruction of our water supplies. Clearly, I'm an idealist. <laughs> While I know that such things will probably never happen, I know that those in such positions of power are guilty of terrible crimes and that they will have a consequence that, unfortunately, now we all have to experience. Thanks, everyone.